Okay, so here we are back. Um, we are going to attack this particular French unit. So first of all, we have to determine the ratio. The, <clears throat> the defender has a defense value of 15. So I'm gonna write this down, 15. The attackers have a combined value of 15, 32, 42, 55, 69. So 69 to 15 is um, 4 to 1. So now I'm just going to show you the quite detailed um, combat results table as you can see it is quite detailed um, it's actually a whole four, um, A4 page so what we're now going to be doing is we're going to be rolling two dice a black and a white die so we note down the results white equals four and black equals two now what we need to do is we need to compare the proficiency rating. So different units have different proficiency ratings. This proficiency rating is 5 of the defender. I'm going to note this down. And then we choose the one um, of the attackers that has the highest. So here we go. 5 versus 5 is 0. What you do is you subtract the um, attackers from the defender. So if your defender has, let's say, a 4 and you have a 5, you get a minus 1 um, to the die roll, which is important. So now my white die is still at 4 because 5 minus 5 is 0. So I'm going to move the camera now and I'm going to cut so that nobody gets seasick. So now we have to check we look for the die roll on the left and here we locate line four that is for the unchanged um, white die of four the black die was a two so we take this line here it says two and then what we do is we cross reference it at the top i mean this is something that i cannot show because unfortunately um the camera is too close up at the top you would have um, the, comp uh, the ratios of 1 to 4 up to 8 to 1. Okay, so basically we choose the column 4 to 1. I'm just going to move the camera slightly. This is the 4 to 1. So here we are on a die roll, on a white die roll of 4 and a black die roll of 2, we come to this result. You see two values here, before the slash and after the slash. If it is before the slash, then it doesn't make any difference to the attacker. And anything after the slash applies to the defender. So what we see here is a black circle with a 1. This means that this particular um, unit, uh, the French unit, will have to, uh, to retreat one hex. And here you also see the plus three. And the plus three comes into play when we now check the combat effectiveness level. To now um, do a, um, um, an artillery check. So basically what we do is we look at um, this table here. We have the number of um, division equivalents attacking, which in our case is one, two, three, four, so it's in this category up here, and the opponent's artillery value, which was seven. So we look at this, it means that we have a zero artillery intensity DRM. Now we make the post combat effectiveness check for 2d6. We roll an 11 for um, the Germans, uh, they have a combat um, effectiveness level of 11 so now we have a plus three modifier from uh, the combat result so they're at 14 which means that they have actually failed this check so now what we have to do is we have to look at the consequences and there we look at this information down here um, if the force fails it's 
EC by 1 to 3. It takes a minus 1 on its combat effectiveness, so it's reduced by this amount. Um, now we have to do the same for the French, and I'm not going to do this because you have to do it separately for each stack, so I'm not going to do it um, on, on camera. 